trying Curl Smith's new full body thickening lotion. And then as a bonus, I'm gonna be trying out the bonding oil. This one isn't new, I'm a little bit late to the party, but better late than never. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. If you've never seen one of my reviews before, what I usually do is I demonstrate the product and I give you my first impressions as I'm doing so. So basically whatever runs across my mind while I'm using the product generally comes out my mouth and you get to hear about it. And then I show you the wash day results along with days two and day three without refreshing. And the reason why I show you those results without refreshing is so you can see how well the products hold up on subsequent days without any sort of interference from me. The instructions for this product say to use this following your favorite leave-in conditioner and then to also, if desired, use your favorite styling product after this. I do actually like a lot of the Curlsmith leave-ins. I really like the oil and cream. I also like the multitasking conditioner as a leave-in. I much prefer it that way. But to continue the theme of this thickening lotion, which is supposed to help add a lot of volume, I'm going to go ahead and use the weightless air dry cream as my leave-in conditioner. And I'm not gonna use a whole lot. I really don't need a whole lot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put a small amount on this side over here and then do the same amount on the other side. And now that I have that in, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my detangling brush and quickly run it through just to evenly distribute the leave-in. If my hair was actually tangled, I would definitely be going through it much slower than what I am right now, but I did detangle prior to getting into the shower and washing my hair, and then I also used the same brush to work my conditioner through my hair. So I do know that my hair is very detangled at the moment. It has a lot of slip. The weightless air dry cream adds slip too. So I know that I can just run it right through without running into any problems or causing any sort of breakage. And now I'm just going to go ahead and section off my hair like I normally do. I usually do three sections starting ear to ear like what I'm sectioning off right now. And then I do the middle section and then the top. If you're curious what I wash my hair with, I did use the keratin collagen shampoo followed by the keratin collagen mask. I normally don't use the same brand for shampoo and conditioner. I like to mix it up, but I really like the collagen line of the keratin brand. I just feel like it really helps with some of my wiry strands of hair. I do have some gray hair and I also have coarse hair. And so I do sometimes get some wiry strands and I do feel like that the collagen helps with those wiry strands. Contrary to popular belief though, coarse hair and gray hair is not automatically wiry. Most of my hair is not. I do just have a few strands here and there. And like I said, I do find that the collagen line really helps with manageability for those strands. However, the rest of this wash day is gonna be all Curl Smith. As you saw, I just used the weightless air dry cream. Then I'm gonna be applying this. And then following this, I'm going to be using the Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. And I was thinking about using the Curl Styling Souffle, which is right here. I was trying to go back and forth, but I decided to stick with kind of a more weightless theme just because I don't really want to counteract the bodifying effect of the thickening lotion. I really want to keep the other products down to a minimum, but I do know I am going to have to use a gel. I really don't think this is going to have any kind of hold. It's got like level two hold is what it says, and that's just not going to be enough hold for my hair. So I am going to have to mix it with a gel, and I really want to mix it with something that is still kind of lightweight, but yet is going to give me some decent hold. This is a number seven, and it does give me some really good hold. It doesn't give me the most longevity just because it is more of a medium hold. However, it gives me enough longevity, and what I'm really looking for is just trying to see how much volume this is going to be able to give my hair. So now that I have this all section off, I'm just going to go ahead and apply this cream. I'm going to start off with a small amount because I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to need. And as you can see, it's got kind of a lotion-y consistency. So I'll just go ahead and put that in one side right here. And I think that's really good for that amount. And this smells like the rest of the blue line. Like they all kind of have, each line has their own scent to it if you haven't used any Curl Smith products before. Like the blue all kind of smells the same and then the purple line all kind of smells the same as each other but different than the blue. And then same with the other line as well. The kind of orange line, this one. 
right here. And then they do also have a fragrance free line. Now that I have that applied, I'm gonna first brush it through just to evenly distribute. You find I do this a lot. I really like to just brush everything through, make sure everything is evenly coated. And it does have some good slip, which is great. My brush is gliding through really nicely and it does feel pretty weightless so far. I almost kind of feel like I don't really have anything on my hair at this point. So maybe I use too little, I don't really know yet. We'll have to see. Uh, but my hair is sticking together and clumping quite well. And then after I brush style, I do like to just kind of gently bring it up and give it a little bit of a squeeze. And as you can see, my curls are starting to form. This just really kind of helps to encourage them. But I don't do a lot of aggressive scrunching because I don't want to create frizz. And now I'm going to continue this process throughout the rest of my hair and I'll be back when it's time to put in the gel. That's the cream applied and let's take a close look. And as you can see, I have no frizz and I've got some nice curls already starting and some nice definition and clumping. And I really like that this has a really nice stick factor to it. It does have decent slip. However, I have used creams with more slip than this but it's not bad. It's really great for defining with. So I'm loving that and I'm liking the results that I'm seeing so far. So let's go ahead and get this gel put in and then I will diffuse my hair and come back and show you the results. Even though I'm using all Curl Smith in this video, you all know by now that you will be seeing this thickening cream in future Shop My Stash Curly Combo videos. And for those of you who are new here and don't know what my Shop My Stash Curly Combo videos are, they are videos where I take you through my product stash and I choose products and I talk about why I'm choosing products and I do a lot of mixing and matching with different brands and whatnot. And the goal of these videos and my rambling through them and telling you why I'm choosing the products that I'm choosing is to kind of give you my thought process and to help you apply that to your own hair and your own products and also feel free to try out any of the combos that I use but you don't have to use those combos if you don't want to like I said you can just use the tips and tricks that I'm giving you in those videos to uh, apply to your own product stash and your own hair. That's the gel applied. Ordinarily right about now is when I would be busting out my aquage working spray and spraying a little bit of that on just before diffusing. But like I said, I do want to keep this pretty simple as far as products go. I'm just using the things that it suggested. So use it after your favorite leave-in and before your favorite styler as desired. So that's what I'm going to do just to see what kind of volume and everything it gives to me and body and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and diffuse. I'll be right back and show you the results. Diffused results. So let's go ahead and take a close look at the results and what the frizz situation is. And there is a little bit of frizz as you can see on the surface here and there. And I do usually get frizz when I use this gel without a hairspray over the top, just because like I said, it's more of a medium hold. And I find that adding a hairspray definitely helps with the frizz during the diffusing process. It keeps it to a minimum, so I'll have even less than this. But I'm not really too worried about it because it's not that much frizz. And this gel doesn't give me much of a cast. So, which is also fine, but well, it just kind of looks like it's got a cast. Like you can see like some separation that looks like it is. So we're just going to go ahead and try the bonding oil. Oh, and this is a really runny oil. I'd show it to you, but I think it's just going to run out onto the floor. So as you can see, it's just, it's really, it's just, it's an oil. It's not serum-y like the Verb Ghost Oil is. It's just a straight up oil. Ooh, I like it. It's really, really light. And I'm liking the way my hair is feeling immediately after applying this. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. This is great. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this all over. And once I have it evenly distributed throughout my hair, then I'm gonna start scrunching, even though I don't really have much of a cast to scrunch out. The scrunching just kind of helps work it into my hair a little bit more and ensure that I have even distribution. Here it is all scrunched and fluffed and I love it. I love it. My hair feels weightless which is unusual for me. For those of you who don't know, I do have coarse high density hair and my hair is just naturally really heavy. 
So anytime a product can make it feel weightless, I'm loving it, I'm here for it. And I do really love that. I love the volume that I'm getting and the nice bouncy curls and my hair feels really, really soft. Yeah, I'm loving this. This is really good and I love the oil and I really like what the thickening lotion did. Wasn't quite sure what it was gonna do since my hair is already higher density and it's coarse. Like I don't really need a whole lot of thickening but I do love my volume. So I do feel like it has given me a lot of volume. I would like a little less frizz and I think just using a different gel with that would probably fix that or even just putting some hairspray on just before diffusing right after using this one because this is a really nice gel and it's nice and lightweight and fluffy and it kind of goes with the theme of the full body thickening lotion. So I do like that combination. I actually like the combination of all of it, the weightless hair dry cream with the thickening lotion and the Flexi Jelly, I think it's a great combination. It just needs that little bit extra from my working spray and I think it would be absolutely perfect. But it is, I love the results that I have. This is, these are great results. Like I said, my hair feels really, really soft and these are some really nice, defined, bouncy curls and a lot of volume. So I like it so far. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you gonna be trying this out? Are you gonna pass on it? What are your thoughts? Just leave any of those down below in the comment section. The other thing that I think I'm probably gonna do is try this out on my friend's fine low density hair. I'd really like to see what this does for her hair. And I think I'd probably use the same combination of products on her hair. And I'm gonna try to put that on video. It's just, it might take a while before that one comes out because we just have to work with each other's schedules. It's not always the easiest thing. So once I can get her here and get her in my house and get that filmed, I will get that for you. I just don't know when it's going to be, but that's enough for today. I will be back tomorrow to show you what it's looking like tomorrow. And we're not really looking for longevity and hold or even frizz control a whole lot. What we're looking for is how well the volume lasts and the, the body and all of that that I'm getting out of it. That's what we're looking for for the next couple of days. So I will be on here tomorrow and give you my thoughts tomorrow in day three and then wrap it up on day three with my full uh, and final review on this product. So I'll see you tomorrow morning and welcome to day two. So this is what my hair is looking like. I still have a lot of volume, which I really like. My hair still feels really light and fluffy, but it is really frizzy and a lot of my curls are a little, a little bit crazy and not looking so great, but we're not really looking at longevity here. This product isn't all about longevity. This product is more about kind of giving you a lot more volume, which it definitely does. I definitely have lots of volume and my hair feels, again, like I said, really lightweight and fluffy and that's really good. So even though I said I was going to do a day three, I think I'm probably not. I'm just gonna leave it at, at where we're at and put my hair up just because when my hair gets like this and I've got like these weird curls and weird things and all of this frizz, it tickles my face and drives me insane. So I'm probably gonna be putting it up and like I said, since we're not really testing the longevity of this product because it's not a whole product, it's all about giving your hair a little bit of body and giving it some volume. And it definitely does that. And it continues on into day two. And I have no reason to suspect that it wouldn't continue into day three. It just would really like to use it with something that has a lot more hold and now that I've used it with you know this lighter hold I've got some ideas as to what else I can mix it with to try to get a little bit more out of it to be able to get that volume like I like but still get the hold and longevity that I want so you know I could probably mix it with the styling souffle like I had earlier mentioned like I might want to do I also think it would work really well with the AG liquid effects gel because that has firm hold that is really lightweight. So there are a lot of different options and you'll probably see this in some upcoming Shop My Stash Curly Combo videos. But as for right now, like I said, I'm just gonna put it up because it's tickling my face and it's driving me insane. But as for my final review, I do think this is a really good product. I think the people who are gonna get the most out of this product are people who have really fine 
to medium hair and especially people whose hair gets weighed down very easily. If you have fine low density hair, I can really see that this product is gonna give you a lot more volume and everything like just based on what I'm feeling with my hair and what it's doing for my hair, I really, really think that you're gonna get the most out of it. Pretty sure that that's what this product was designed to do anyway because it is a thickening lotion. So I think those of you who really struggle with any kind of weight on your hair and you really want to get a little bit more volume and a little more fluff, I really think that this product was designed for you, meant for you, and will work really, really well for you. For those of you who have hair more like mine that's coarse and a bit more high density, this will still work for your hair. It definitely worked for mine for giving me volume, but I don't think you're gonna see as much of a difference with this product as somebody who has fine to medium hair. So I do think that this is probably best for fine to medium hair, but that doesn't mean that those of us with coarse hair can't use it. I just definitely need to use it with a gel that is gonna last a little bit longer, or if I had put hairspray on top of this one, that probably would have made it last a lot longer as well. But like I said, we're not testing longevity. We're just trying to see how long the effects would last for the volume. And I can still feel it on my hair. My hair does feel soft, but I can feel the effects of the thickening and it doesn't leave like a grit because a lot of times volumizing products will leave a little bit of a grit, but I can feel a little bit of something there. It's not awful, it's not producty, but I can feel a little bit of something that definitely helps with the volume and giving it some body and some fluff. So I do think that that's an effect that will continue to last just because it lasted so well, but because my hair is not holding up because of the lack of proper hold, I'm just not gonna do a day three. And with this product, like I said, the whole point is not really longevity. It's just to see what kind of volume and body you can get out of it. And I really do think that it's great for all of those things. Much better for fine to medium hair, but it'll still work for coarser hair as well. And then for the other product that I tried, the Bond Oil, I like this. I really, really like this. I mean, what's not to like? It's an oil, it has protein in it, which my hair absolutely loves. So this is definitely something that you're probably gonna be seeing more often in future videos as well. I really still love my Evolve Wonder Balm, but I'll probably be working this in as well just because I really do like how lightweight it is and I really like the fact that it has protein to it. I mean, seriously, this is, it's just good, good stuff. And let's just put some in and see how it works on next day hair. And yeah, that definitely, that definitely helped with some of the frizz. I mean, my hair is still gonna go up because I'm not loving the way that it looks, but this stuff is really good. This, it's, it's very, very lightweight. So if you haven't tried this already, which probably all of you have already tried it because I took so long to try it out, but if you haven't already, I definitely say give that one a try. It is really lightweight and it's got the protein in it, which can really help those of you who have fine, easily weighed down hair that absolutely loves protein. This is something that your hair is going to love as well. But if you have coarse, higher density hair like mine that also loves protein, this is going to be good for you as well. This is just a really good oil and I am definitely loving it and looking forward to using more of it going forward. But this is gonna conclude my review for the day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.